Yeah. OK, so first of all, let us uh, decide on the three instance variables. Private, not static. Nothing in this program is going to be static. OK, which should be understood. D and M and Y, all of them are created. So this part is done now. This part is done now. That means the instance variables have been created. What do we need to do now? Let's create the first constructor. As I told you, just go by one line at a time and you will be able to perform the task. So first constructor that we need to create. What is the name of the constructor going to be? Okay. Date. date function. Public. Okay, I'll write public uh, void date function. Is that right? No, no sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. All right, all right. So void is going to be removed. And what is this constructor going to be do doing? It is going to set the value of dmy to uh, 11 1900. So I can say d is equal to m is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1900. So that takes care of this. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. OK, next is constructor which is parameterized. So sets the value of dmy to the values passed as arguments. Fine, so we'll create another constructor with a small p actually. This should have been a small p. OK. Let's create one more constructor. Public date and I'll have int uh, dd comma int. I'll, I'll give a different name int yy. And at the moment, I'll just pass the values. The question actually says if the values passed are invalid, the instance variables get the value of uh, 11 1900. Uh, I have. OK, did I create a is valid function? Yes, there is an is valid function created here. So I need to create that first so that the parameterized constructor will be able to know whether the whether the data is fine or not. What I'll do is I'll simply make a call to the is valid function, although I have not created it. I'll write if is valid bracket may dd comma mm comma yy is equal to true. If this is fine, then I will write. I will pass the values. That means I'll say d is equal to dd semicolon m is equal to mm semicolon y is equal to yy. Uh, else. Else what are we going to do? Else it gets 11 1900. So else, else we'll say D is equal to D is equal to M. And M should, should be in 19 should be. Yeah, is equal to 1900. And I'll just remove this line. I have not created the is valid function right till now, but I have made a call to it. Although this is not going to work at the moment, but I've just made a call so that when it is created, it will return some value. And if the returned value from is valid is actually true, it will pass the values to DM and Y. Otherwise, DM and Y gets 11 1900. Now, till now, whatever we have done, is it making sense, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. And th is this what you how you did it? No, sir. No, so that means I think many of you must have checked the whether the date is valid at this location. Yes, yes. yes. OK. All right, that is this is how you will come to know whether whether how things are. Next function was set function. Set function is almost similar to the date function, although there is going to be a little difference. So I'll say public iska void hamesha rakhenge, iska naam set rakhenge, and rest of the things it is doing the same as the date function. Is it making sense? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, I know you must have, you must be, some people must be kicking yourself, be ye kaise ho gaya. 
ये मैंने कैसे कर दिया बट एनी वे यू विल कम टू नो सो देखा जाए नाउ वेन आई क्रिएटेड डेट फंक्शन बिकॉज डेट फंक्शन वॉज अ कंस्ट्रक्टर आई डिड नॉट गिव द रिटर्न टाइप देयर बिकॉज यू नो दैट कंस्ट्रक्टर्स डू नॉट हैव एनी रिटर्न टाइप वेर एज द नेक्स्ट फंक्शन वॉज सेट फंक्शन एंड इट इज अ नॉर्मल फंक्शन नेचुरली इट विल हैव अ रिटर्न टाइप सो द ओनली डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज टू फंक्शन इज द रिटर्न टाइप हेयर दैट्स ऑल ओके बोथ ऑफ देम आर एक्चुअली डूइंग द सेम थिंग ओके नेक्स्ट फंक्शन इज इज वैलिड फंक्शन बाकी छुटकू पुटकू फंक्शन है सो वी विल नॉट बी बॉदर्ड आर इज वैलिड फंक्शन इज बेसिकली द मोस्ट क्रूशियल फंक्शन इन दिस क्लास वॉट इज इट एक्चुअली डूइंग इट इज बेसिकली टेकिंग थ्री इंट एज आर्ग्यूमेंट एंड इट इज बेसिकली चेकिंग वेदर द इन फैक्ट द थ्री इंट्स आर डेट मंथ एंड ईयर इट इज बेसिकली चेकिंग वेदर द डेट मंथ एंड ईयर टूगेदर मेक्स अप इज मेक्स अ प्रॉपर डेट और नॉट ओके सो लेट्स सी हाउ टू क्रिएट दैट पब्लिक इट्स रिटर्न टाइप इज बोलियन एंड इट इज इज वैलिड and it takes dd and int mm and int yy as arguments can anybody help me here does anybody want to help sir, me here sir i want to ask something anji sir i in this program sir i have created one static function sir it is not set in the program but i have make it for uh, making the things simpler so sir i have made a public static leap, uh, to uh, i have made a that function to find the leap year which is the leap year and returns that uh, returns to the that uh, is valid that is, function that is fine so long as that static func static function is not actually using any instance variables static function is is not a problem at all Okay, sir. Okay, we have not done static at the moment, isn't it? Till now, we have not done static. Yes, we sir. have. Been. Officially, we have not done. So, but sir, uh, I have uh, externally uh, no added worries. it. No worries. Your program is perfectly fine. If you have created a static function and that static function is not using any instance variable at all, so it should be logically it should be fine. Okay, sir. Right. Right. Okay. Anybody wants to help me in this? how do i check whether whether this date is is correct or not the firstly d is less than 0 or d is greater than 31 then it will become false only the uh, sorry d is less than 1 okay um how i would do it i'll tell you because there are so many conditions involved here so what i have done is i have created a variable called valid and it has a value true in the beginning of the program in this function it is true in the beginning and if i find that my dd is not correct or the mm is not correct or yy is not correct the moment i find it i will make valid as false and in the end i am going to return in the end i am going to return the value of valid so can you does it make sense to you i have created a valid variable a variable called valid which is true in the beginning and i will in this program over here i am going to check whether the dt is okay or mm is okay or yy is okay and if i find at any point of time that these are not okay i will just make valid as false excuse me sir yes beta so cannot we print that uh, the date or uh, time entered is invalid yeah we can print but we need to find whether it is when invalid first of all what we are doing right now we are finding whether it is valid or invalid we are not displaying anything at the moment right okay okay, okay so uh, who is going to help me how are we going to check now and i have given some conditions here that y should be greater than 0 m should be uh, between 1 and 12 and d should be greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to that number depends on the month now how how has anybody done and let me just please help me out how you have you tried it excuse me sir हाँ जी बेटा 
sir my method is uh, not like you okay is Means not sir, like i in if else sir i am just uh, checking if if the statements match i will return true if then do not match means in the last else part i have written return okay false. so you, you have not used this at all and you have just simply if this if at, at any point of time it is not okay you return true or false something like that yes yes yes, yes. that is also fine that is also fine that is also fine let's say you sir, want I to say that, sir your method is better than means uh okay of course my, my method is going to be better of course of course of course it is going to be better but uh, yes. <laughs> but what you have written may also be good enough uh lakshya you wanted to say something sir i want to tell the answer but i am not sure about the answers okay okay so lakshya just give me uh, your version of the program what sir first of all sir we have to write if year is smaller than 0 if year is year smaller is than 0 5 0 And then return uh, false return false and return false okay and then sir uh, again an if condition if month is smaller than 1 uh, or or condition month is uh, month is greater than 12 okay now lakshya you have given two conditions and both of them are actually returning, returning false. false am i true am yes, i right sir. okay could you yes, could you yes, not yes. have done this if y is less than 0 or mm is less than 1 or mm is greater than 12 or dd is less than 1 then return false yes sir does it make more sense yes sir sir i am making the program simpler yes. so that's why that's why i have written like this sir बेसिकली जो मैंने यहाँ पर तुम्हें दिया था ये वाले पांच कंडीशन है यही तो कंडीशन लगाए हैं मैंने अभी है ना ठीक है ये मैंने कंडीशन लगाए कि अगर वाई की वैल्यू लेस देन जीरो इनफैक्ट लेस देन वन करेंगे बिकॉज जीरो भी नहीं होता ईयर ओके सो हमेशा ग्रेटर देन जीरो Yes, perfect, perfect. That also should be there. DD is greater than thirty-one. So, ये तो in any case false है ये. So that means इसमें तो कोई और कुछ check करने की ज़रूरत ही नहीं है कि year कौन सा है, month कौन सा है, वगैरह वगैरह कौन सा है. अगर DD की value thirty-two डाल देते हो, तो कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता whether the month is twelve or thirteen or one or six or year doesn't matter whether it is nineteen hundred or two thousand or whatever. If DD is greater than thirty-one, then it is going to be false. If DD is less than one, it is going to be false, right? Excuse me, sir. Anjali, what? Leap year is it going to be like if else? Once again, sir, this or condition it it is working like the if else condition. Yes, it is. Uh, if any of these conditions becomes for uh, true, that means if somebody enters for DD, MM, and YY, the person enters. uh 31 and 2 and um, 0 so in this case yy is getting a value of 0 and this is less than 1 it will actually return a false it will it, it doesn't need to check the others because if in in a in an or condition if one of them is is true i don't need to check the other conditions it is going to be true okay right right okay so what if is if month is february and the person writes date as 31 ah uh, beta abhi ye to aisa case hai jo ki kabhi bhi true nahi hoga abhi maine we have not talked about the other other dates i am not saying that this is the program and this is final no this is not final okay. these are the conditions which which in any case are going to be false doesn't matter what month it is now suppose the month had been uh, february naturally or maybe a uh, a uh, uh, june this is going to be a problem there isn't it so this is not complete we'll just check we'll check something else now what did we check what did we check sir, here right yes lakshya sir i want you to go out of this function and create an another function public static boolean so to find that it is a leap year or not sir okay 
एक स्टैटिक बुलियन ये सर बुलियन स्लीप एंड एंटीयर अल पास एंटीयर ओके एंड देन इन दिस देन देन वी हैव टू राइट रिटर्न सर सेम रिटर्न देन थ्री ब्रैकेट्स थ्री ब्रैकेट्स गोइंग Answer we have to write year uh, percent four double equal to zero. And sir and uh, year percent hundred double equal to zero. Or year percent four four uh, hundred double equals to zero. Or sir here or should be used I think so sir or should be used. Okay. Or Or instead either. of and and or year. No sir, no sir. I want you to a sir. I'm sir. I will send you a pic, sir. Sir, I am not able to explain it right now. Okay, send it to me. Sir, sending on the group. Sir. by the way till we are having that we can keep we can simply call the function from here doesn't matter what the condition is here okay so don't worry about this tell me lakshya excuse me yes sir sir i have sent it okay you have sent If year person four is equal to zero and year person, okay. Basically, you have written it something like this, and year person. Or year person four hundred is equal to zero. So then it is okay. So basically, it is going to return the value. This is going to create a boolean expression here. So now we have to put one more bracket. Okay. Okay. Don't worry about the brackets here. Yeah, it will be one bracket here, I believe. So now okay. we have to go to the is valid function. Yes. Yes. So please cut the else part. So else part. So please cut the else part. Else. Else. Uh -huh. Sir, right. If one double equals to two. If month double equal to zero. Double equal to two. Is equal to two. Uh, by the way. Uh, जब हम डी डी ग्रेटर देन थर्टी वन करते हैं विच मंथ है मार्च मार्च अप्रैल मे जून जुलाई जून जुलाई जुलाई थर्टी वन मार्च मार्च अप्रैल मे नहीं है हमारे पास अप्रैल का महीना है और उसके बाद जून का महीना है और फिर सितंबर है एंड देन नवंबर है सो व्हाट अबाउट दीज फोर मंथ्स बिफोर वी टॉक अबाउट द मंथ इज इक्वल टू टू शुड वी नॉट टॉक अबाउट द दोस मंथ्स अबाउट दीज मंथ्स यस सर ओके आई सजेस्ट यू पुट आई विल टेल दिस सर ओके सर एल्स इफ इफ मंथ डबल इक्वल्स टू 4 और मंथ डबल इक्वल टू 6 और 9 एंड 10 1 
Okay, so I am just writing six and nine and eleven. Okay, you write the system thing properly, and then. And then, sir, we have to write return date. And date is smaller than or equal to thirty. So we can just say if dd is greater than thirty, then return false. Right. So yes, sir. Yes, sir. Equal to sorry. Okay, so that means if the month is four or six or nine or eleven, this statement has to be written properly. It has to be mm is equal to uh, six or mm is equal to nine or mm is equal to eleven. This you need to complete this properly. I'm just writing yes, a question mark there. Yes, beta. Sir. Sir, yeah. can uh, sir, why can't we write sir uh, in the uh, in the if before uh, means mm is equal to four in this line only. And uh, DD greater than thirty. This statement. So Please. you you can you can why not? But you'll have to group these conditions together. Yes, 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 yes. We will group them one, and yeah. after that we will write and. And the. Yes. So you could you name you mean to say is equal to nine or M M is equal to eleven and put these into a group. This these into a group so that this yes. becomes one group. And then you say and, and is greater than 30. Is greater than 30. So just this much is enough. Then I don't even need braces. Sir, one more thing, sir. Yes, beta. Sir, are we allowed to create an uh, another function like we have created is leap here in such a program where you have defined the functions and variables? Uh, you could, you can. If you feel it is important and you can do it properly, then you can do it, do it. No problem. Okay. Even in even in the board exams, you can create a function, but please try this only when you are okay with functions. Otherwise, don't take this panga. Okay. Acha, what happens if what happens if uh, now it is this is not this is there is no problem with this. It will not return here. This is not. This is also everything is fine. This will not return. This means we have taken care of all these months except for February month. So when we come to February month, what should I do now? Sir, we have to is leap year. Sir, we have to find that the so, February month is the I, year is leap year. Okay, I'll check whether is leap y y is this a leap year? Then what should I do? Sir, then return if date is date is smaller than or equal to 29. Okay, if DD is greater than 29, then return false. Sir, and then else if uh, and then date should be else greater than 28. Greater than 28, yes, then, greater than 28 then return false. And the, sir, at the end we have to write return to if all the conditions are met. Yes. So my program actually ends somewhere here. It's here. Okay. So I'll just remove these blanks, and over here I will write. I will write. Okay, so I told you this valid is going to be your the toughest program to do. Baki to they are just doing something. That's all. Okay, let's finish this now. The program that we have actually done is valid. It is given. It is actually given three values, and if the values, if the year is less than one or month is less than one, or these are all flat decisions. So. In any case, if any of these conditions is true, it will actually return a false value. Now I have actually taken care of DD is greater than 31, so I don't need to check for January and March and so on and so forth. I need to check for the other months that is 4, 6, 9 and 11. If the month is 4, 6, 9, 11 and DD has been entered as greater than 30, then it will return a false. Now I have taken care of all the months in these two conditions except February month because that is a special case now. And if I I'll check whether month is two. Now this whole thing is is actually in month is equal to two. 
So what is going to happen if month is two? It will first of all check whether it is a leap year. If it is a leap year, then then the greater than 29 is a false value. And if it is not a leap year, then DD is greater than 28 is a false value. OK, I will be sending this program to you. You can digest it, whatever, however you want to digest it. And then get back to me tomorrow when we have our class. Sir, do you have yes. another another way of doing sir, that? I have a question. Yes, beta. Who has the question? Sir, huh? sir, if we have done the if we have done this question in lengthy part, but the answer is okay, so will we get marks? Yes, you will get marks. I I can see that people are not experts at the moment, so fine, it is okay with me. If you have done the lengthy part, it's okay. Why am I giving you this kind of a solution is that ultimately you know, first of all, you know how to program, but you should get into the habit of doing things in a, a, a smaller, uh, with a smaller logic rather than with a very large logic. Sir, do you have another way of doing that program, doing this program? Uh, no. Sir, is this fine to which I've said there? Yes, this is fine. Sir, I have a doubt in it. Okay. Sir, Last in the year statement, it should be year percentage and it is not equal to zero rather than double equal to zero. Okay, okay. I'm, I have not checked this condition at all. This is for you to check whether this is working fine or not. OK, so I am not bothered about this particular condition. This you can check from wherever sites and you can figure out what how they find whether it is a leap year. Sir, I, I don't worry too much about this. Anji beta. On the statement on 49, sir, would it, uh, will it return true or false? It will return whatever this is returning, whatever this is actually creating. Either true or false. Huh. For example, if I have D is equal to 9 and if I say return D is greater than 10, what is it going to return? False. False. If I say D is less than 10, what is it going to return? What's all? What is this true. Point? true because D is less than 10 is true because D is actually 9. So because this is creating a true value, it will return a true. So similarly, this is me up. They go double equal to double equal to like you know, check or they equal hey or a condition true, but that the poor key poor to return true. Karta hai. Otherwise, normally we write it like this. We say if if this condition is true, then return true else. Return false. Right? Normally, we write like this. So, if you want to write like this, it's up to you. Like this one also could have been written in some other way. Go? I just want to finish something from here. And let me, sorry, let me just go to the assignment. Excuse this me, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, will the efficiency also deduct our marks? Like if the program is less efficient? Are no, yeah. Don't worry about efficiency here. I, uh, my first aim is going to be whether the program is working fine or not. Excuse me, sir. Uh, so while you were doing the program, I checked that I didn't do one part. I didn't write the set function. OK. So, so how many marks will be deducted for that? I will. Let's, I will deduct. Let me see your programs first. OK. Um, OK, now show function is uh, is a small is a small small function displaying that dd dm and y instance variable in this particular format uh next date we will actually do it tomorrow so that means we will just figure out how this is going to be done i will see how you have done it and we will figure out how it is going to be done all these all these are simpler programs so only complex program 
function here is this one. So we will actually try doing this. OK, that is tomorrow. Right? Do we have do we have any question? Excuse me, sir. Yes, Vita. Sir, like you have created the function is leap. Uh, sir, I had created a function named get limit of the month in which I first check the leap year and then according to the month I uh, give the value like limit is equal to if month is if leap is equal to true and month is two, then I give the value uh, limit is equal to 29. And if it is not leap and month is equal to two, then okay. uh, limit is equal to 28. So, so is that kind of not a very uh, efficient program but still a workable program so you don't worry about marks here you worry about learning here but you don't worry about ki mereko marks kitne mil rahe hain. worry about what are you learning from here am i clear so uh, anyway do we have any question at the moment any technical question OK, so we'll continue tomorrow and uh, try to uh, compare the two programs, the one program that I have given and the one program that uh, uh, you people um, have actually done. OK, so just compare and see how do you compare there. OK, so. Okay, so we'll see you tomorrow and we'll do the rest of this program tomorrow. Thank you, Vatsal. Thank, uh, thank you, Vita. Thank, thank you, sir. Welcome, Vita. See you tomorrow then.